me again. I know y'all missed me. And I'm very happy to be here. We are in East Glacier National Park hiking a trail to the Iceberg Lake. On this hike, we're gonna gain 1,349 feet of elevation and about 9.8 miles. Hey guys. Howdy. So like you said, we are in Glacier National Park and we are so happy to be here. We decided to do East Glacier today because it is less smoky. If you paid attention, there's a lot of wildfires in Montana. And here the sky is actually blue behind us. I don't know if you can see that. In 2018, before Kelly and I started vlogging, this was our first trip out west. We came straight here. This was our first experience. It was, it's our favorite national park. It's Glacier National Park. We love this place. It is amazing. And this was the whole goal when we left. This is where we wanted to end up. So we're happy to be here. here Time to get back on the trail. We wanted to let you guys know that we are being safe. They both have bear spray. So we're ready to go if there's any bears. Just hope that we don't run into any. Man, I don't wanna run into someone. Come on. Not a grizzly. Guys, look at this view. So we see this massive waterfall up over here. And this is actually where we're going, right up over there. Y'all remember on the last vlog that trail was killing me, right? I think Kelly's it's Kelly's turn. How you feeling, babe? It's hot. I had a wrong choice of bottoms today. And it's so hot and my leggings are so tight on my legs it feels like rubber bands or like a weight on my leg. But her choice of clothing was based off of what she read about the trail. It okay. said bring gloves and stuff when you get up to the top because it's gonna be really cold I don't so think they meant in august, yeah i don't think they meant in august either i could see it in like june when we came here in 2018 we came in june you know 70 degrees out in the plains valley and we come up in here and it's snowing on us went from 70 to 32 31 32 i think and i, I was in flip-flops it was at 80 in the valley yeah. and i was in flip-flops and shorts got out we had a camping spot up here reserved and we said no so we had to leave and find something else that was before i had winter camping gear on our last trip as well we did not camp over here or spend much time on the east side because it was so cold so we stayed on the west side but what's crazy is you see the smoke here but actually this is very light if you go to the west side where the fires are you can't even see mountains it's so thick and because of that we probably won't go to the west side but it's extremely beautiful over there as well we camped over there at fish creek campground i think the west side is a completely different ecosystem from this side this side is more like wyoming and uh colorado a uh, very dry but the west side is more like washington state or oregon along the pacific very moist different types of vegetations, a lot of uh, moss. So it's a completely different ecosystem just over that ridge. But we're down here and these ridges are 2,000 feet. I repeat, 2,000 feet more in height up there. 2,000, 2,000. Could you imagine falling from there? It's never the fall that kills you, they say. It's a sudden stop. You barely got any of your hair. Uh -huh. Just the tip. I might fall. Is it cold? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's real cold. You know what else is so cool about this, guys? These waterways in the National Park of Glacier, we found out, you don't need a fishing license. Wow, I'm lightheaded. Yeah, me too. Wow. Is that not one of the most beautiful lakes you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. Right? Get over there.
This is Iceberg Lake, and if you saw the two glaciers fall, that's why they call it Glacier National Park. We're gonna head back to the truck, go back to camp. We'll see you guys when we get back there. We are back at camp, and I wanna talk to you about the campground that we're staying at, which we got last minute by the chance, so that was great. I'm gonna talk to you about that tomorrow because right now we are starving, so I'm gonna get to dinner, and tonight I'm making spaghetti carbonara. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm feeling pretty good this morning after that hike. That hike was amazing, and we didn't talk much about it. It was beautiful, beautiful hike. When we got to the lake, I actually could imagine us being on a ship in the Atlantic, North Atlantic, by glaciers. Just the way the water looked, it was one of the most amazing hikes I've ever done in my life. I don't know if y'all could see it. We tried to zoom in, but the uh, glaciers were fall cracking and falling into the water. So that was pretty awesome. Jonathan? Cody. How are you feeling, brother? I feel rested. We're good. <laughs> wow, that so looks scripted just then. <laughs> For you to pop out of there with that kind of happy face going on. Yeah, I really was. Okay, good. As long as you're happy. I slept good last night. I got like 11 hours of sleep. Or... I feel good today. That's good. And up in this little treed out area, we keep feeling like we're in Arkansas when we look there. Not when we look there, but definitely when we look there. It looks kind of like Arkansas. The trains climbing that mountain that I had a clip of earlier is pretty impressive to watch that they can climb that. I don't even know if y'all can see it with the GoPro, but right there. Seems like there's been a lot of them this morning. It's about the 15th one in about an hour and a half, I think. Yeah. 
So I want to tell you guys about this campground that we're staying at. It's called Glacier Meadows Campground. And we are so lucky that we did find this at last minute. If you try to plan a trip to Glacier, plan it months ahead of time so you can get a campground. But we are lucky that they had an availability. We are in their overflow camping area. It's uh, primitive, no water, no electricity, which is fine with us. That's what we do anyway. But there's a meadow. So all the RVs are over here on this side. There is a wooded area where there's a few tent sites and then over here across the meadow, which we have trees as well. So, and really more privacy. I like this side better. It was right now peak season, $30 a night back here. Uh, we are 38 minutes from West Glacier and 18 minutes from East Glacier, but where we went yesterday, Mini Glacier is an hour and a half. Yeah, so, it was long drive. but you are kind of in the middle. If you want to see the whole park and stay for a week, this is kind of a good place to be. Unless you want to move around and maybe camp in Mini Glacier, camp in East Glacier, camp in West Glacier, definitely book it ahead of time. But this is a great campground. I mean, people are really nice that work. The camp hosts are really nice. They have showers. They have Wi-Fi tower. So it's a really great campsite. Yeah, we don't have Wi-Fi over here, but we actually have to go over to the that building that's red right there. You go in there and you'll get Wi-Fi. You can't make cell phone calls. You can't, you know, upload videos or anything, but you can check emails and things like that. Lovely, lovely Kelly is about to cook something so lovely. Okay. Uh, I'm making biscuits and gravy with homemade biscuits this morning. So I'm going to make the biscuits first, or at least prepare them. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is measure out some flour. I'm going to need two cups of flour. So biscuits are actually really simple. They're kind of like scones. Same thing, except you're gonna change uh, buttermilk and heavy cream. So don't let it scare you. It's very easy, very simple ingredient. They cook really fast. It's, it's really simple, so don't let it freak you out. But two cups of flour. And next, I'm gonna do a one tablespoon of baking powder. And some salt. After I've got all of my dry ingredients mixed around, I stirred it up, ready to go for the next ingredient, which is one whole stick of butter. You have to cut it in. I like to use a cheese grater and I just grated it. Once I've shredded my butter in here, I'm just going to kind of go around, mix it up. kind of want it to look like coarse um, granola or something. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more flour on my surface that I'm gonna work with. And we've got buttermilk we're gonna add to the dry ingredients. And I am the wax paper clamp right there. I clamp it down. So I'm not really measuring it out. I'm just gonna pour a little bit, stir it around, pour a little more. So I'm, I don't do a whole lot at a time, just a little bit. Now it's time to get our hands dirty. I'm gonna pour it out onto our surface here. And I'm just gonna kinda mash it around until we have it all combined together. And all these little pieces are picked up. So basically I'm gonna knead it for a couple times. So if you have a cookie cutter, um, I use a cup. They make biscuit cutters if you want to get real fancy. But I just use a cup and I'm going to cut little circles out of this. I'm going to take my cup and dip it in some flour so it doesn't stick. And just mash out the circles. There they are. So now you want to preheat your oven, which I'm not done yet, and you want it to be super hot. I would say 450. For 400, 450, if you have my oven, um, you know how the temp goes. So 450, 400, 400, 500, you just want to keep it in that range. Next is to cook the gravy, sausage gravy. First thing we're going to do is put some sausage in this pot once it heats up, and we're going to cook the sausage. All right, I've got my sausage in here. I'm going to let that cook all the way. It's time to put the biscuits in my, my oven's at 500. I just turned the heat down though. So we're gonna bake these at whatever temperature, like I said, 
and then for about 10 minutes I'm gonna check them in five minutes and because my oven likes to burn on the bottom I'm probably gonna just flip them over so we'll come back at five minutes on that our sausage is done I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some flour and three tablespoons of butter what I basically do here if you've heard me talk about cooking a roux that's what we're gonna do right here is to so that we can thicken it up when I pour the milk in there so we're just gonna stir this around until all the butter melts and this uh, flour and butter is looking kind of dark. Now we're gonna pour in our milk. So I'm gonna do three cups of milk. And then we're just gonna bring that to a boil. And you wanna continue stirring it until it thickens up. So we'll probably give that maybe five minutes. It looks like my biscuits are done. And just to keep them warm, I'm just gonna leave them in there, but I did flip them and it seemed to work a little bit better. Everything is done, so I'm gonna take a biscuit. We'll use the pretty pot up and split it in half. Ooh, yummy. Look at that steam coming off that. And then we're gonna put some gravy. Grabbing all of it there. And then we all like some fresh crushed pepper on it. Done. Time to eat. Well guys, this morning we have just been taking it easy. Yesterday we had to get up super early to make it to the hike so we could finish in time so we could cook dinner. But this morning we've been chilling. It is noon and we've decided we want to head back to East Glacier. We're going to walk around the town a little bit i saw some stores i wanted to go into she wants to go to a wooden spoon store and all they do is make wooden spoons who wants to Anyways, go to a wooden spoon store and then they want to go fishing so we're gonna let them go fishing guys i got my fly rod set up jonathan he's all excited and something else crazy is i don't think we've talked to y'all about the lighting here when it comes to the sun but it looks like it's three o'clock and it's only 12 Last night, it didn't finally get dark until 11. Is that about the time? <laughs> wasn't it about 11 the yeah. sun finally went? It wasn't 11. 11 at night? It was like 10. 10.30. We Give me 10.30. We went to bed early. All right, let's roll. We're riding with Jonathan since we don't have a back seat anymore. We basically kicked Jonathan out. This nice Ford F-150. Good Lord, it's way up here. Look how dark it is here back here, guys. You ready? Oh, I look how dark Look how dark it is dungeon back here Jonathan and my window doesn't work he... see it's all I have to do is just shake it and Jonathan knows <laughs> all right Jonathan you can go yeah there you go see East Glacier here we come we've made it to East Glacier and first thing I want to do is go into the spoon shop they're making fun of me about they're well Jonathan thinks spoons. it's kind of cool I mean handmade spoons Handmade yeah, spoons, I, that's man. what I'm thinking it is. So it's super windy out there and we don't have the dead cat. So we're just going to tell you what we're doing right here. And then we're gonna go you check can, you can come along with us. <laughs> come on, guys. It's going to be cool. <laughs> Okay guys, so the spoon place was really, really interesting actually. There's a lot of stories of spoons from movies and different places. It was really cool. But now we're gonna go to Two Medicine Park, which is a little 10 miles past East Glacier. And we had to purchase a new annual parks pass. They charge you to get in this side. We got into um, Mini Glacier free yesterday, uh, but this one they're charging you, which is fine. We needed to buy a new pass anyway. So it is August and this will get us through till August of next year. So let's see what Two Medicine has.
because we've given it about an hour, no, about two hours, and not a single bite. Not a single bite. <sighs> but maybe next time. So we were parked in this parking lot while they were fishing and I noticed this is a trailhead. It's only 0.3 miles hike to a 20 foot, well in the spring it's 40 feet and then in the summer, late summer it said 20 feet waterfall. So I think we're just going to take a walk. If you're wondering, I was reading a book. That's what I, that's my new thing. That's what I do nowadays. Anyway, we're going to hike this trail. So this is called Running Eagle Falls. And is this the creek y'all were fishing Yeah, this was the creek we of? couldn't catch a fish on. We're really good at fishing. <laughs> we got zero bites. Well, Jonathan got a few nibbles. Nothing big enough. So this is a weird looking tree. It looks different. I mean, look how deep this bark is. It's crazy. It's black cottonwood. So the deepness of this bark protects this tree from wildfires. Huh. Yeah. Thimbleberry. Tastes Thimble. like a tart raspberry. Okay. I have seen these all over the trail, but they're all gone. Well, you can eat them. They're best eaten fresh. So I could have been eating these all day yesterday. You could have trail. accidentally ate one thinking it was a... No, because the raspberry ones I saw the, had thorns on the stem. Yeah. That's better than a raspberry. Really? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. <laughs> so guys, you all see this plant right here? I don't know what the plant's called, but I know that the berry is a thimble berry. Very fragile, very um, folly party, but it's one of the best berries I've ever had in my life. It's so sweet, so tart. Mm. We've eaten more, more berries what? Uh, more? on the trail yesterday than we ever have hiking. Yeah, because we found huckleberries, guys. Huckleberries, raspberries, thimble berries. Uh, blueberries. Blueberries. Crazy. You don't even need snacks. No, nah, man. I was buried out, man. Man, berry mantelope. Hey, there's <laughs> so all these plants are, are the Yeah, these are all thimbleberry plants. Right it's here. all thimbleberries. Look, thimbleberries. Right there. Either those aren't ready or they're dying. No, these are dying, but. Yeah, I see it. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, that is so cool for such a short hike. I'm actually blown away. I didn't even have a clue what it looked like. Kelly just said, let's do it. So a neat little history about this waterfall is that there was a Native American who was a female and she came here for three days to meditate or contemplate about her future. And whenever she was done with that, she went back to her tribe and led many successful wars or battles in the war and hunting excursions and she was the only female in the tribe to ever be giving it given a male name which was running eagle which is the name of these falls running eagle falls pretty neat so in the spring the waterfall this is the 40 foot tall waterfall and then what we saw was just coming out of the cave down. that's pretty cool mm -hmm. however we are about to go back to east glacier because our mission in life for Kelly when we come up this way is huckleberry ice cream. She is addicted to huckleberries, guys. <laughs> Unlock the vehicle, Jonathan. He's our chauffeur since we don't have a back seat. We I think we found ice cream. Yeah, this says they have ice cream and groceries. So. Yeah, I think we're good. Exactly. 
exactly what we were looking for. We are back at camp and things are wicked. Wicked, wicked. Wicked windy. Our tent was completely down. We had to put some straps on it. Jonathan's tent was holding strong, but the bat wing awning with good Cody ingenuity here, putting on the cordage, this thing can handle a lot apparently. This whole tent on this side, all this was collapsed in because we didn't put any cordage and we weren't expecting heavy winds, but we got our cordage in. Look at that, still blowing hard. But tonight we're gonna be cooking because we didn't catch any fish we're still having fish didn't even have a bite from a fish i don't think fish exist in that river we didn't even see a baby fish kelly is about to cook tonight i'm gonna make salmon and couscous so this is from trader joe's every everyday seasoning i like it on my salmon Right now, I'm just getting my couscous measured out and ready. And since there's three of us, I think I'm gonna do one and a half cup instead of a cup. Me and Cody don't ever finish the whole cup. So I'm gonna do one and a half cup just to make sure there's enough. This is the wind we were talking about. Look at this. Look at this. Let's see how the tent's doing, man. Oh yeah, all in caved in. I like that. You know she's standing up straight. Angel Princess is getting on her onions here. So the green onions are for the couscous and I'm just going to go ahead and chop a few. Got some dried apricots and I'm going to attempt to chop these up too. Done a few cranberries I'm gonna do a little bit more and I'm just chopping them all up best I can couscous is ready so I'm gonna throw in a little bit of garlic powder the wind don't blow it all away I'm gonna do some pepper and salt and then these are my apricots green onion And then one more thing is feta cheese. That one's done. All right, so everything is done. We just have couscous and the salmon. Time to eat. Take that, not. Oh. Like we say, guys, this dish is one heck of a dish. If you've never done it, do the dish. It was a shoulder dance. You got to season it heavy though. It was a shoulder dance. Kelly just did the shoulder dance. That means we're good. What? <laughs> 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 always fall down. How? How? I just do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have for you this time. But stay tuned on Tuesdays and Thursdays for more adventures. And we'll catch you on the other. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Now, do you drive?